Okay, everyone, we are back, and I am not a robot. I am a real person this time. Thank you, all the ones that are listening to these little podcasts, and your feedback is always a blessing and encouragement. Right now, it is nine minutes after midnight, August 18th, and I need to go to bed. Before I do that, I have one more task to finish before I can send out this prayer letter. It has our email and our videos and all that stuff on it. And this podcast is the last thing on my to-do list. So uh, we have the air conditioner running in the background and we have my wife ironing clothes. So if you hear any steamy sounds, it's because she's ironing. So I've had me a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich and we are ready to read you our month's prayer letter. This is number four of 2024. And how in the world are the Millers doing? So here we go. The first thing we have on our prayer letter is from Brother Decker. Uh, we had a friend of ours that came over here from the USA. He has uh, been on the field as a missionary kid growing up there, speaks Russian. He's been with us, and he went home here last month, and he is always a blessing when he comes. And because of uh, the tremendous amount of Russian speakers we have here and his language skills, he's able to be an encouragement and a blessing to them in a pretty big way so we were thankful to have him here and uh, it's always a blessing to have people from outside come and be a blessing and uh, that's exactly what he is every time he comes so uh, the next thing we have on our prayer letter is our membership classes so we held membership classes for anybody interested in joining our local church here uh, several people they came uh, we emphasize that to join the church one first must be what's the answer correct saved born again and then after that uh, to be baptized or to receive proper baptism so sometimes that requires rebaptism. Um, if i was baptized into the spaghetti church of uh, the flying spaghetti monster which is actually a real thing and i wanted to join a independent baptist church of course we would have to require a rebaptism. and so we taught about that Afterwards, we had the privilege of rebaptizing, um, or of not rebaptizing, but just baptizing one of the ladies that's been coming to these meetings named Hegiani. And so we got to go to the river for the first time uh, to have a river baptism, and that was pretty cool, pretty awesome. You'll see that in the video. And so shortly after, uh, we, t we talked about what she, uh, her salvation testimony, and she told us that shortly after sh attending church with us, that's when she realized she was lost and she prayed and she asked for the Lord to save her soul. And so she gave her testimony there with us. And then right after that, she was uh, submerged into the dirty rivers of the Danube. And so it was a blessing and it was a good time. Uh, after that, we have uh, meeting spaces and challenges. So we've been meeting in hotel conference rooms for our services because we don't really have a place of our own quite yet. Uh, we're praying that God would deliver us some place to meet and have, have uh, outreach programs and stuff. However, we continue to seek for an affordable place. Right now, we're renting a different place. Um, they're not very cheap over here anymore. And so we just made a little bit of a nonchalant contract with a hotel near the train station uh, for about five weeks so that'll get us by for a few weeks yet and so the first hotel meeting we have we had 15 people uh, total i believe it was come be with us and so we're looking forward to tomorrow we'll get to bed and get there uh, tomorrow i'm getting to tell wanting to teach on ruth and uh, how she was not part of what you might call the family of god but because of her humility and her love for her mother-in-law that God accepted her into that and we see the results of her humility and that her I believe it was grandchild was King David you know it's pretty cool so we're gonna talk about that tomorrow but back to the letter uh, missionary friends uh, we just had some missionary friends with us we can't say where they came from or where they're going but they were here for us with us for about three months we we're able to host them and try to take care of them as best as we could they've returned home and so we pray for them and I would ask you to pray for them too as their visa situation is sketchy uh, to say the least we don't know what they'll be or how long they'll be there so pray for them and then uh, family news uh, by the time you read this well actually uh, I wrote this a few days ago so actually now today is the first day that Kayla's family arrived to spend several days with us how many days are they gonna be here one week, one week she says 
So that'll be a blessing. And uh, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and little girl, and another little baby, right? Little boy? Little baby boy in the belly? Uh, so in September, our pastor and his family will be joining us. And uh, so we have many plans for them to do with us while they're here. And we're looking forward to that in a couple of weeks. And we have on here legal status and future plans. One of our goals is to establish ourselves as an official Serbian uh, independent Baptist church. So we are working closely with lawyers to achieve this. And there is light at the end of our little tunnel. And having official status would grant us much more freedom to do what we need to do to advertise the gospel, to distribute tracts, to print Bibles, and so much more. Uh, to not have to go through different loopholes, but it will just be right there and do it. So anyways, yeah, it's just going to be a huge blessing to get that done. Last of all, we do have uh, the New Testaments and outreaches. This New Testament is finally done. We wanted to put the John and, oh, not John and Romans, we wanted to put the... Uh, Psalms and Proverbs in with this version here and so we waited a little bit longer to get that done so now New Testament John and Romans John and Romans New Testament Psalms and Proverbs is all together in one collection there and we're going to get that printed it's at the printers as we speak and they'll be starting on that uh, as soon as they get all their forms and printy stuff all ready to go so it should be by the time you get the next letter we should have those here in stock to be able to pass those out on the streets and whatnot so thank to you all all you churches all you friends and family out there who's contributed to this outreach programs uh, we also because of your donations that we talked about last month you guys gave uh, very blessingly to these we get to actually have a conference again this fall and we're going to plan to do that and we're excited for all the special special things we got going on for that. So yeah, it's all because of your generous support and that we have all the things we need to move forward with not just the, the New Testaments, the Bibles, but with also the campaign. So we're so blessed. Thank you for being on our team. Thank you for letting us be on your team. And praise the Lord, we're all on the Lord's team. And so God bless you all. Uh, some prayer requests, if I could just squeeze these in. So we want to just thank the Lord that the membership classes are finished. Um, we thank the Lord for Hegiani and her decision to show the world that she wants to follow the Lord in baptism. Uh, praise the Lord that New Testament is finally ready for printing. And then um, new prayer requests. You know, language learning is going to probably be a, uh, what do you call that? When it's like ongoing per mm -hmm. perennial, like a, like a flower. Perennial? Is it perennial? What would the word dudes use? Okay. Some fancy word, just put whatever word you want there. Continual or continuous. We like that word. A continuous prayer request. Continual? Can't say continuous. Okay. A continuing prayer request. Continue. Okay. All right. So the prayer request that's going to keep going perennially. <laughs> okay. And that one. So, uh, yeah, language learning. Please pray for that. Uh, let our little minds soak up as much as we can. I will say that um, it's been a blessing. We had some friends that had had some sicknesses, and I was able to stand there and pray completely in the language here. So it was a pretty cool opportunity. So pray for the legal status of uh, maybe the first independent Baptist church here in Serbia, uh, potentially since the, the time of the... Uh, the Bogomils or the Waldensians. So uh, pray for that legal status. That'd be great help to help us to be more uh, active in the community and do more projects and then upcoming outreach. So pray for all those things. We appreciate you. God bless you and stay faithful and wherever you are, whatever God has for you. Thanks again. Ciao.